Hey guys, I figured um, I haven't done it, posted anything in a while and I'll, I think today I'll just do like a fun quest board, just me playing the game. I figure, I'm pretty sure the update's coming within the next, I want to say four to five days. It's either going to be like Monday night or Tuesday, somewhere around there, so I wanted to get uh, the perfect, so, let me explain. My warehouse is full. I'll probably have to do a warehouse cleaning before, before the patch, so I'll probably do another one, hopefully Sunday night, unless the patch comes Sunday night, but, um, I'll, I'm just gonna do a couple things around the, the account. Oh, I still have to do those. Dang. I really did nothing last night. Damn, I must have fell asleep. Um, yeah, so let's just do a little quest board action, a little cleanup so I can have my, um, so I could make sure the day is done before I have to go to work. So let's see what the quest board gives me today. Ooh. Easy, easy. I don't even, I keep telling you guys, I don't. With people having five uh, areas and stuff, I have no chance. The best I can do is probably get around three thousand, but I don't. It's okay. I don't really need the ten extra on our on our badges a uh, hour. Yes, it adds up, but I'd rather just power through the um, arena. Easy, easy. I love it when it's this easy. Five three flames, of course it's five three flames, and then I have my Santa out. Due to the fact that he has Enlighten, and he's almost a two hundred, I haven't thought about double evolving him. I do really want to double evolve him, but um, no cards and sixty thousand shards is just pretty insane to double evolve him but he'll my goal is right now just to get him to 200 and utilize that enlightenment and then once I do that I have thought about getting my Ares up to 180 just to help with Guild Wars just that extra little the 10 star will probably help him so after Santa gets to 200 I'll probably just start sweeping with Ares but I mean, I want to like double evolve Warlock. I just don't have any backup heroes. That's the problem. Um, that's what's killing me is I just don't have backup heroes. I have no Warlocks. Uh, that's for sure. And I have no Santas. I have a ton of... I have, I could do Pumpkin Duke. I could do Druid. Can't do Dread Drake. Definitely could do Reaper. And I definitely could use... I can't even do Cupid. I don't have any backup Cupids. I only have... The one time I got a backup Cupid, I evolved. How crazy is that? I've only gotten like two Cupids. Uh, Thunder God. I mean, I guess I could do all these, but no backup Orc. So, right now I'm just trying to figure out my next course, and I think it's getting this guy up to uh, Ares 10 star. After he gets up to 200, maybe I get a crazy Santa Boom streak and get a whole bunch of them but I doubt it Ooh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna run out of um, I'm definitely gonna run out of uh, gold I think come on shards bust me out with shards there we go Ooh, there we go that was probably like 500 shards right there nice ran out of gold and I have one left that's okay that will give me a chance to uh, try out 2-1. Insane 2-1, which I still have not beat. It still is kicking my ass. Um, slowly, it's kicking my ass, but it's still kicking my ass. Can't figure it out. The spacing on... Just this pure spacing of how deep it is. Ooh, 
this is a good base. Let's try this. I think I'm just going to blow past it and then right before he procs, get him in like that. Um, what was I saying? I totally forgot what I was saying. Um, that base was actually, I was trying to figure out that base. Even though it's it was easy with magic, I just wanted to, I've been seeing, um, <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I love when random people do those crazy w random bases. Dang. Look at all that. That thing is going to murder me if it procs. But. I'm pretty sure. Oh, freaking ridiculous. Nope. Nope. That was that was gonna end up bad. That Santa Brock made all my guys go super slow and um, not worth it at that point. It would have, I definitely would have had a loss. I would have just replaced my heroes. I wouldn't have cared, but um, it still was gonna be a loss. I definitely saw that for sure. But doesn't matter right there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's actually. A Wacky base. Back to back the same base. Nice. Alright. Hopefully. I'm guessing that's Val Valentina. There we go. I was hoping that she didn't proc. Because if she proc'd then pretty much the whole team would have proc'd. But look at that. I mean a Dread Drake double Evo would be... Oh man, that would be so nice. That damage per proc would just be absolutely amazing. Come on. There we go. Ooh, they all had revive. They all had revive. Um Oh, I still have Candy Cane and Death Knight sitting in my in my doo -doo -doo warehouse which I find this hilarious. But I just don't have room. I mean, I have to eat a hero or evolve a hero, which I've been thinking about just evolving um, champion or possibly uh, Snowzilla just to evolve, just to so I can open up a space because um, my only other backup Snowzilla is actually in my altar. So if I eat a Snowzilla, um, I'll be able to open up one for Death Knight or Candy Cane. But, yep, I still have two heroes sitting in the warehouse. Which is, I have to keep bringing this up, but I still have not got an Atlanta Core. I've played this game forever. And I still have not rolled in the Lana Core, which I have actually have no clue how that's even possible. That's the one hero I still have not rolled, and it's been out for probably two years. I want one because I think they're pretty cool. I think it would be pretty funny to have an Lana Core in the middle of the base for Guild Wars, and it it goes off at like 51% and your whole team goes down. I think that would be hilarious, but um Oh yeah, let's see. Man, I think I I think I clicked my Guild Wars event. Yeah, I clicked it. Um I got third. I got like 777 fame. Um I messed up on one of my attacks. Um Yeah, we got third. We had a lot of um I mean, I guess I'll show it I guess I'll show all these people. We had a lot of zeros. It's very, very... I don't care about people trying. I, I just want you to try. This is not trying. That's literally not trying. And I hate that. 
That just pisses me off. But as long as you try, I don't care. I don't care what your score. We're all about having fun and and whatnot. But at least try. At least try. That is what my my whole purpose is. Oh. Dang it, I'm going to have to get rid of... Okay. So, usually I do this just in case my Santa Boom dies, which I don't want it to. But... I don't even change the base anymore. Um, I literally just keep this base in. It seems pretty well for most of the hero trials. Especially anything ground units, because it's got to run all the way down up to here. And I find out that it's usually pretty good. Except when you get like Pixie. Pixie and Warlock, um, I'm struggling with. With this base. But every other one, it pretty much has, they all have to get funneled through here. And they all have to reach like right here, and it's, it's pretty nice. I do have to switch it. Just from watching people attack my base, I didn't have, I only had Santa in. Um, but some of these other ones down here, like, just from watching the base, I'll at least show this one. See, they try to attack there. Interesting strategy. I wouldn't have done that one. Long snowstorm. Yeah, my Vlad's going to proc and it's over. Unless my Vlad's dead. No. So I don't know what this guy was doing. Or thinking. Yeah, I have no clue what he's thinking. But I think I'm going to put... What I was trying to think is get away from the middle here. What I've seen people do is just bum rush straight through. Just like boom, boom. The, the best way I can... Here, let's go back to my base. best way I can explain it is they're bum rushing this. So they go boom. And they have ranged hero. So ranged hero proc here, ranged hero proc here. Done. Those are done. And they just bulldoze through here and my base gets wiped so I think that's the problem I'll have to switch I have trying to think but I'm I'm sure I'm gonna move this outside just put more stuff there like the flower beds so they can't just straight through run um, I think that's what's causing a little bit of problem but until then I will just keep figuring it out moving the bases around the outside. But I do like this. I don't have like all the auto proc heroes, which makes this base pretty good. Because I fight them all the time in Guild Wars. But still. It's still a nice base. Even if you don't have all the super crazy heroes. But I gotta take all my heroes out again because I forgot to sweep. Ooh, I would honestly I almost wouldn't rage right there. If I would have gemmed that, I would have been, that would have been massive, massive rage right there. Because I would have been super pissed for 1,800 gems. Um, 1,800 gems. That would have been brutal, brutal mistake. Especially when I use all these gems for rolling. So I'm pretty sure, this is, this is why I'm, this is what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure the patch is coming pretty soon. So I'll probably have about 9,000 gems to roll. And the new hero is Shard Hero. But I'll try to roll for all heroes. So Ghulam, SK, Valentina, Harpy, Trentar. All the ones I don't have. Alinicor. I'll still roll for Alinicor. Um, and the Phantom king or whatever it's called um i don't know if i'm gonna spend twenty thousand shards on him i probably should because it'll give me like a nice auto proccing hero but um twenty seven thousand shards is just way too crazy so this is where i'm gonna just start sweeping like crazy boom 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 I should be at like 196 now. Yep. He's getting there. I mean, he the enlightened is just is pretty nice. And then I think once he gets to 200, I'm pretty sure I'm going to just switch his 
talent to whatever next good talent I can figure out roll. Um, but I haven't been rolling that. Even with the quest refresh boards, I have gotten pretty much close to dog poop. So, I don't know when Santa is going to get another good hero. I mean, a good talent. So, he'll stay on with Enlightened for a little bit. I have all these books, so maybe, maybe hopefully I'll get a um, nice little lucky roll and get a new hero. Or I could just do what I said I was going to do, level up Snowzilla, eat Snowzilla, and then open up Death Knight, which I think I'm going to have Death Knight before I have Candy Cane, because I've played with Candy Cane, and I don't know, unless I have 5 rebate. Unless she was born with 5 rewrite, which I highly doubt. I don't know how effective it will be on this account. But I know Death Knight will be pretty, pretty effective in Lost Battlefield and such. So, once I do the quest board, I usually go over to Lost Realm. And thank God I got that. Boom. I always try to. My goal is to make it to the wherever this is so usually hmm, my goal should be here <sighs> I try I try to find what the least the best path to maneuver around yeah I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna go all the way around that's I usually just try to do a big circle um, I don't know why but it just seems to be. I don't. I can't, I can't explain why, but I just I do it in a circle. So I'll just follow a path, and then I'll just go through that circle, and go around the board. Ooh, I definitely do not. I definitely do not enjoy treasure chose. I I. For how many of them I've opened up and gotten very little for. Nine thousand, blue crystals. I won't do it. That's my one. That's my one little thing. I won't do treasure troves. They've pissed me off too much. I heard people getting three mystic bags and stuff like that, but I definitely have not. And I'm just sick of opening them up, so I refuse. I know it's probably dumb. The odds are you probably get some good stuff, but um, I don't, and I don't want to. So I'll ne oh, there we go. This is what I want. Is this stuff? I'll love merchants. Give me all the merchants I could possibly handle. Since I've been getting, since I got up to Lost Realm 22, the extra boost in blue crystals have helped. I did, by accident, upgrade um, Ares twice. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought I was removing crests, and I just kept hitting it. So I did upgrade Ares inscribed twice without even blinking. I was just like, come on, why isn't this removing? And by the next thing you know, um, I inscribed him up twice. I am inscribing him up, but I was going to choose Warlock first, but... It was just funny that I made the mistake of inscribing Ares. I think Ares is like 93 or 94. I'll have to check after this. Let's see. Let's see. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah, so he's at, he, he was at 91. Um, <laughs> he was at 91, and I just went, I thought I was removing the crests. Wasn't paying attention, and I clicked inscribe twice. But I was trying to save up my my blue crystals because I'll probably just get him up to 100. Uh, his damage per proc is just is pretty good. And the goal is for me is to do good in Guild Wars. That's what I want. I like Guild Wars. Even though it takes me a little while sometimes to 
kill some people because they don't have certain heroes, but it is a strategy. You have to figure out how to attack, where to attack, the timing of attack, and other little tiny little tidbits that I do. Did I do hero expeditions? Nope. And let's do Lost Battlefield. Um, Alright, well, let's see if I can beat these guys. Usually I just try my best. Most of these guys have crazy crazy talents anyway, so um, I I'll lose a bunch just because of the talents. Like this is I'll probably lose this one because of the Skull Knight. Because I should have that Skull Knight prox. Come on, Santa, where are you at? Never mind. Santa procced and it actually did a lot. Hmm. Atlanta Core. Alright, that's fine. I tried to. Oh, dang it. Low level, but if the Atlanta Core has a, a revive. It could spell disaster, and he didn't. Thank God. I've seen a couple of them with uh, revive, and they popped up with the shield, and my guys just kill themselves. Interesting. Interesting. Usually, I do all my stuff the night before, meaning when I get home from work. And usually, these guys are a lot harder at night than they are right now. Usually I'm losing. Usually I'm losing because there's five revived Aries. There you go. I, I'm, I was wondering where they were. Usually I'm losing because the five revived Aries and blah blah blah. Wow. Wow. I'm actually shocked. Usually I don't win these. I usually get around high 900s for the week but I do lose I do lose so I'm not saying I'm like superstar I just let my heroes fight dang I actually like this team I love my champion that stuns I wish he had a 5 revive but when he stuns it pretty much eliminates all those guys I have a revive on my Immortep and when he revives he's always proccing and so that always takes out those guys. Ah, oh, I don't want to go against this guy. I know, but if I switch, it's going to give me a lot less. Dang it. That's why I don't like switching. Dang it. Dang it, everyone has a god dang Atlanta core. Oh, this one's going to be a loss. I can feel it. Yeah, that was brutal. Not only did he have a pixie and a land of car and a skull knight, but nope, he's got an Aries. Fuck. Yeah, see, this is usually what happens. This is what I'm more used to, just getting hammered. Um, just getting hammered. But four to five, I I should win this. I should just maybe his other two teams are super super powerful. Um, ooh, if I can get no, nope, nope, nope. Yep. Right when his Ghulam proct, it was over. That was just pure healing and damage reduction. If my champion. Could proc on that Atlantic Core. There we go. That's what I wanted my Atlantic Core proc. I mean, my champ to proc on the Atlantic Core. Not bad. Usually, I probably win three, lose two. That's usually what happens. Um. So it's not that bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see here. Should I do hero expedition? 
I do like to do Storm Mesa. It's my team. I do like to do Storm Mesa, but I don't think I want to do Storm Mesa today. I don't even know if I want to do that. No more of those. I pretty much did everything I need to do except for this. So let's might as well get pump through hero expeditions so I can say this this is done. Ooh, this is my favorite type of bases. The ones that are spread out in the corner and I could just let my team just super proc in the middle. I'm telling you, Evolve Thunder God is just so amazing. Ooh, let's see if that Dread Drake's gonna run through. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Dang it. Should try it on this side. Sometimes melee heroes will run right through the walls if you put it right in the middle. It's a little nice little secret if anyone wants to know, but it has to be, I want to say it's four across. I forget what it is. But it's got to be a certain distance. And then they'll run through. And then if it does that, your base has no chance. Because then it just starts proccing on the walls. Or hitting on the walls to proc. And it pretty much is going to proc a billion times. See, this is why I want my Warlock up. I don't know if you're watching. Some of these hits are pretty freaking devastating. I'll drop my Dread Drake right here first, but I still got, yeah, I don't care. That pumpkin dude's not going to do anything. Once my, <laughs> there we go, it's over. Boom, boom, boom. Favorite base. Ooh, they changed it up a little bit. Still same concept. Have to have my Warlock here. I'll put my Ares up there. Then I can put my... Thunder God there. Yeah, let's get the Reaper right there. I probably should have my, put my Cupid, but I'm feeling my Thunder God will have enough buildings to do some damage in the middle. At least... There we go. It's... The amount of damage he does per hit or per proc is, is pretty amazing. Especially in an insane dungeon. Um, I don't know if people, I know most people used it because I've talked to people, um, see this is where I think you could run across and the melee heroes will run through. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so it's th it's four, so one, two, three walls, and the fourth is the town hall. I'm pretty sure they'll run through it, so I'll, I'll show you that. Cupid, now let's do Reaper. Hopefully, I mean, I guess it will work, definitely will work for Pumpkin Duke. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do the first time, but I guess it needs to be... The fourth has to be a building. So it can't be four walls and a building. I knew it was something like that. Dang, people are... Not putting anything on the base. Let's get all my guys proc in. There we go. Bam! Bam, bam, bam. Oh, and the new totem system is coming out with the new patch. That's going to be very interesting because putting a Santa boom in there and it triggers it, that could be pretty, pretty, pretty nuts to see. He could wipe out people without even thinking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Vlad? That stun tower's got him a little messed up. There you go. This is doing a lot better than the last time I showed you um, how I do <laughs> hero expeditions. I was flying through that one. Usually I do more calculated attack like this. It's more boring and slow, but it does do the, does do work. 
Boom. Pumpkin Duke. Revive. One more proc, and we're good to go. Dang, all those bombs. Could you imagine, like, a little totem right there that pops up once and is Santa Boom and just procs on everything? I mean, that could just be... That would wipe out a raid. Especially with some people's double evolve. Um, oh, I'm not going to win this one. I could try it, but I don't think that was going to be a very effective attempt on that base. It would have been very bad. Well, let's put Cupid up here. Hopefully Cupid procs a couple times. Gets that extra damage buff. I don't know if you saw that, but that was the warlock that that was a warlock crit. So on top of whatever he did, he did a little crit. Love the damage on the warlock. Absolutely just love the warlock. Especially for Guild Wars. The snipe people from a distance is is very effective. Him and Ares, which I need to get my Ares up. He should not be sitting at 160 and 8 of 10. He should be at least 9 of 10. I definitely need to get his skill up. And I definitely have to get his level up. That's just going to be the most effective way to help me advance in Guild Wars. This is going to be bad. I think... I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one. Without significant amount of losses but you never know I'm gonna try hopefully all the heroes are dead other than the skull knight because if that's tr um, if that happens then I can usually I'll be fine but if it's if these all have revive we c I could have a problem ooh I hope someone saw that Ares Calamity, Warlock killed the Skull Knight. Skull Knight's done, can't revive. See, at what I knew I knew the bombs were gonna be there, so that's why I said I'd gonna lose something if multiple heroes were still alive, like Skull Knight and something else. I knew those bombs would have taken half my height half my health, and I would have probably lost a couple of heroes. Ooh, and the last one is literally just uh, one hero. So, that was an easy, easy, e easy, easy, easy hero expedition. And it's a modify. I mean, he spread out the base a little bit more, but it's the same thing with mine is. He just spread it out. Um, I think because he didn't want people attacking over the wall. Because one of the reasons why this kind of sucks is you could attack over the wall with a range hero. But if you had like an arrow tower here and an arrow, t see what I'm, since i am been just sweeping um, HBMT and I haven't tried HBMAA because I don't have scatter. Um, I put three arrow towers. This one's going to be nine, I mean, get me ten soon. But I should have, where's my third one? Oh, no, sorry. I was going to put all four of the corner bases as arrow towers. But you can't re you can't change while they're upgrading, which I don't get that. But I'll have to save. So in two days, these things will pop, and I don't know if I'll hold off on using them to upgrade something else because I know the totems use actual builders. So I think I'm gonna hold off. So once this gets up and this gets up, I'm going to hold off until the update happens before I use my builders. Because anything I put it on, it's going to be like 20-something days. So I at least have, will have the totems out. And that's what I'll need. I'll just have the totems out, build them up, and then from there we'll go from there. I think it uses... I forget what it uses from what I'm reading, but definitely he's going to need builders, so... Hopefully you have builders available 
by Monday or Tuesday or right around there. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to come out within the next five days. That's what I would guess. Because usually it's about a week or so after Taiwan gets it. So, other than that, that's usually what my... I usually would do Store Mesa too, but um, I think I'll save that for the guildies. Usually they pop up once in a while and want to run it, and I'll join them. So, I think I did everything. Um, you know what? I guess I can show my attempt on... Let's see if it wants at least. Let's show my attempt on... Whatchamacallit, on 2-1. And then maybe I can get a little help from other people. So I used Reaper instead of Vlad. Because Vlad just murders. Just murders everything. And by that time that happens, um, none of my heroes have a chance to proc or anything. So I need my PD to proc a couple times. But Reaper was so important for 410, 49, just killing heroes. Just killing them. Before they even had a chance to get to my guys. So, maybe something cool will happen. Maybe maybe this is the one time. I don't have copters, so this is literally going to be doing it with no... I keep seeing people do it down here, but... I'm trying up here. I'll get, like, the Minotaur in there, so I'll do... I'll wait till it, there we go. And then Minotaur comes down, and I do Minotaur, and I throw it down, and then Pumpkin Duke, Pumpkin, pump. There we go. Oh, and then Destroyer, and the Destroyer. Well, as you can tell, that was a big failure, but I do try it on that side right there. And, um, maybe people will tell me I'll try in the bottom, but until then, thanks for watching, guys. Peace!